When I first got into web development, everyone said the same thing. Learn React. It was the golden child, the industry standard, the ticket to a six-figure job. So that's what I did. I opened up YouTube, cloned a few GitHub repos, and told myself I was building real projects. Fast forward six months, and I was knee-deep in props, hooks, custom hooks, use effect chaos, and libraries stacked on libraries just to render a button. Here's the thing. I don't regret learning React. I regret learning it first. React is not a beginner-friendly framework. Actually, let me rephrase that. React used to be approachable, but modern React? With everything from JSX syntax quirks to complex state management and dependency hell? It's like trying to learn how to drive by starting with a Formula One car. When you're new to coding, the most important skill you need to build isn't using the latest framework. It's understanding the fundamentals. How does a web page render? What is the DOM? How does CSS cascade? React skips past all of that and drops you into an abstraction rabbit hole. I remember writing code in React where I didn't actually know what was happening, just that it worked. That's a dangerous place to be. Because the moment something breaks, and trust me, it will break, you're stuck debugging magic you don't understand. React makes you feel productive fast. You get components on a screen, import a few libraries, and suddenly you feel like a real developer. But it's shallow. Without a core understanding of the browser, of plain JavaScript, of how data flows, you're just a copy-paste machine. And the worst part? You think you're learning. But you're just learning React, not programming. It wasn't until I circled back to Vanilla.js, played around with basic web APIs, and actually built things from scratch, no libraries, that I started to feel like I had any control. I realized something simple but powerful. Frameworks are shortcuts, and you can't take a shortcut if you don't know what road you're even on. React is great once you have a map. If you don't, it's just a confusing jungle. Another thing people don't talk about is how React teaches bad habits. Since so much is abstracted, you don't learn why certain things matter, like accessibility, performance, or clean separation of logic and UI. Everything ends up in a hook or a 300-line component. You call it dry, but it's just messy. There's also the mental strain. The React ecosystem moves fast. You'll spend half your time googling new best practices, trying to understand what changed in the latest version, or dealing with context weirdness because some package wasn't updated. That's not learning, that's firefighting. React's popularity also creates this weird illusion that it's the only valid way to build things. But there's a whole world of front-end development out there. Frameworks like Vue and Svelte that are arguably more intuitive for beginners. Or even just sticking with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript until you're solid. You don't need to join the hype train immediately. I know the pressure. Job listings ask for React. Boot camps teach React. But the truth is, if you build a portfolio of projects, even in plain JavaScript, and can explain your code with clarity, you will get noticed. The demand is for developers who understand problems and solve them. Not just React jockeys who can throw together a CRUD app. So here's what I'd do if I could start over. I'd spend three months mastering vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I'd build a blog, a portfolio, a form with validation. I'd deploy something, learn how to host, set up a basic backend. Then, and only then, I'd reach for a framework like React. Not because I need it, but because I finally understand what problems it's solving. React is a tool, but if it's the first thing you touch, you won't know what it's fixing or what it's breaking. Subscribe to Shade of Code, because I believe in you.